Hey everybody, thanks for checking out the video. My name's Larry Snow. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at privacy settings on Facebook. So let's get started. So you're probably, the first question you're probably asking is how the heck do I get to my privacy settings on Facebook? Well, you click this tiny little upside down triangle, or I call it a down arrow, and you go all the way down to settings. You click on that page, you get to the page I'm on. I'm also on the desktop, so it might be looking a little differently on mobile. All right, the first uh, tab we have is general. Feel free to take a look at that. Make sure everything matches the way you want it. I'm not gonna be talking about that in this video. We're gonna get into the meat and potatoes here. This is security and login. First thing you wanna do, and it's recommended by Facebook, is make sure you have up to three to five friends that can help you get your account unlocked or unblocked for whatever reason. Very important. Next stop, very also very important, is to make sure that these devices that are connected to your Facebook account are actually yours. If they're not, contact Facebook. Next one is login. Feel free, you can change your password here. And I've also opted in for this login with your profile picture, but I have not yet seen it in action. And then the next important part here is setting up extra security get alerts uh, by unrecognized logins. This has only happened to me once and I contacted Facebook immediately and whoever it was no longer bothered to try to get into my account. But this will set up an email alert whenever someone's trying to log into your account that isn't you. The next one, also very important, use two-factor authentication. So what that means is you uh, will get a notification from Facebook saying you're trying to log in. Well, here's a code, and if it's you, we're going to send that code to your SMS, your phone, a text message. You take that uh, text message and you put it into the field that's provided by Facebook, and away you go. You can get access to your website. I have that set up on, on all my browsers, uh, you know, mobile, wherever it is. I have that set up. It's very important. All right, the next tab we're going to take a look at is privacy. So the first uh, tab, security and login, deals just with that, making sure your account is secure, making sure your login is secure, and verifying uh, all the information, right? The next one is about your privacy, about what you are sharing and what you want to see and who can contact you and that type of thing. So let's get started. Who can see your future posts? So right now, anyone in the past, I, they can see it the public, but if I changed it to me, then going forward, only I would see the posts. Here you can uh, activity log to where you can review all of your, uh, all of the posts that you were tagged in. If you missed it, you said, oh, I'm, who's that guy that tagged me in that post? You could go to this activity log and you can find out who it was if you missed it. All right, next, who can contact me? I have it set to friends of friends, but if you click the down, click the edit button, you can select friends of friends or everyone. Who can look up you using the email? I have it set to friends of friends. If I clicked on everyone or just friends, perhaps that might be a better setting, but if I clicked on everyone, everyone, since I'm a public uh, profile, everyone would be able to email me. So that's why I only have it to friends of friends. Same thing with uh, your phone number. I have it set to friends of friends. Now, because I am a, since because I have a public profile, I have also set that my public profile can be found in search engines. You can also turn that off. Let's go down to timeline and tagging. So your timeline is your own personal news feed that shows up on your profile. I have it set to friends, so friends can actually post on my timeline. And then I also have the ability to review that if I so choose. Here you have the ability to see what your timeline looks like to your friends. You can do a view as. Now this is not changing anything, you're just simply looking at your profile as if you are a friend. It's a good way to see if once you have these settings set up, that they actually changed and they're working for you. The next one here is how can I manage tags, people, add and tagging suggestions. I have that off, but if you click the edit button, I can uh, I can turn on tag review, so I can enable it. So anytime anyone tags me in a photo or a post, 
I'll get a notification and then uh, which I can review it and, and then I can approve it. So that's timeline and tagging. You can also uh, manage people uh, to block them if you'd so choose. You can even block messages, block app invites, and I've actually blocked a few. And then you have this wonderful thing with blocking apps. Now, it's not so much now with the new versions of Facebook this year, but uh, years past, I would always get <laughs> invites for gaming apps. And so, as you can see, I blocked quite a few here. And uh, it's been very helpful to clean up my newsfeed. So I recommend that if you're getting a lot of spam invites from people you don't even know. So thanks for watching this video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and share with your colleagues and friends. And I'll see you in the next video.